I'm a five-star event rider, owner of C-Square Farm, and um, partner in Excel Star Sport Horses. And today we're going to talk to you about marketing. <laughs> Somebody wanting to say hi over the stall wall about marketing, sales ads, videos, what to look for, the good, the bad, the ugly, things you can avoid very easily. So. I've said it before and I'll say it again, first impressions are everything. And as you can see, I look like a right slob right now. My britches are curled up, my uh, shirt is untucked, I'm wearing a dirty coat, my hair is down, um, my beautiful horse here, who does not look so beautiful, has a ratty halter and a ratty lead, is a brush, has shavings all over him. So these are all things that make a first impression. So first and foremost, these are easy things that when you're making a sales video or an ad to avoid. So having said that, we're going to walk you through some of our process. We'd love to hear where you guys are watching from and we'd also very much like to have any questions. Uh, Reese is on the camera as usual. Um, she's been a bit under the weather but she's joined us which is fantastic. And so let's start talking about this. Any questions yet, Reese? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So this is a nice thoroughbred horse. He's an older gentleman. Um, and so he's got a bit of a belly on him. Reese, why don't you come over here? And a lot of people would just pull him out and just, you know, do, do something like this to get a stand-up photo. And, you know, he looks a wreck. You know, it's like a first date. This is not who you'd want to date on your first date, right? He needs to be cleaned up and brushed up. And then the other thing is you want to find a level spot to take, the best level spot to take a photo. And then you want to, if you have something, for example, like this wall, you'd like to put your horse up next to it, parallel to it, with your photographer, parallel with his withers. So Reese, if you could move back to his withers, at least that would give you an idea of the shot of the horse okay so we're going to show you a, what happens now if you if you have a horse that actually will stand still um, what happens when everything gets cleaned up a little bit and first impressions okay and just so everybody knows this is one of my favorite all-time horses and he just woke up from a nap and that's why we used him so He's a good old man. All right, so let's go back in the barn. Not yet. Not yet. Anybody watching? Um, where are they watching from? No one said where they're watching from. We have 13 people watching. Oh my goodness, it's Training Tip Tuesday again. All right, guys, and I'm sorry we've missed you for a month going on here. This has been a busy time for us. So I'm going to have Reese just look at that horse for a second, and I'm going to miraculously change and show you what you should look like, or ideally what you should look like when you're making a video, um, something for show for sale. So why don't you go take him down and look at that horse, and I will talk you through it, okay, Reese? Yep. So this is a horse called Excel Star Ever Hopeful. He is a four-year-old that we imported, and he, um, you can see, has a lot of white on him, and so, Again, for a sales ad or a video, the first mm, thing joy. that we would do not have Joy Let's biting. Let's not touch um, him. But we would try to have all of his white clean Joy back up. Him neat and trim and looking well. We'd have his feet polished and have his tail full um, because he was an ad horse. And we would... Um, Well, he also has a very nice halter on it, um, so that he looks the part. And 
it showed no it showed off yep. <laughs> Player. Mm, there. Oops. Anybody have any questions for us yet, Reese? Not yet. No? Nope, not yet. Did anybody tell us where they're watching from? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, guys, I'm back live, so it'd be nice hearing from you guys back live. <laughs> so, all right. So far away. Ooh, no have a sue. Very sleepy on the cross ties. Okay. So the oh, thing yeah. when you are making a sales ad, a lot of people like a stand up picture. We don't do tons of them, um, to be quite honest, because I think it's a challenge to get a good stand up photo. Um, and it takes a couple of people actually to do it properly because you need to have someone on the lead, someone to get the horse's ears up, and then someone to be doing videotape. If you were gonna do a stand-up photo, what I would recommend you do is you do video first and foremost because it's always easier to take a screenshot off than to try to roll a bunch of video together. So that would be the first thing that I would recommend. The second thing I would recommend is, like I said, to have multiple people. Because if you can have a person on the horse's head and a person to get the horse's ears forward, and then a person um, to take the video, that's ideal. So. We got one question. We have one question. Okay, um, what's the question? I thought tail pulling was now a no-no too, or is that coming? From um, Melissa Lambert Hopkins. I think tail pulling is still okay. So if someone has some alternative information, I'd love to hear it. So, I have now changed. I now have polished boots on. I now have a clean coat on. My britches don't look like they're falling off my body, and my hair is up. So it's all, it's a very different picture. Um, than what you had with Havasu. So let me pull this horse out. Hi Havasu, please don't hit me. taking pictures of their legs if people will take shots from your height right Come on. Come on. I don't want to stand square thank you very much no okay. If we were going to take a picture of his front feet, 
I wouldn't want to take it from here because it doesn't really show the straightness of the horse's feet. I'd want to get down here. Come this way, Reese. So you can see this gives you a very different viewpoint, right? Than if you're actually level with the horse's knees, right? That's actually the viewpoint you want because you want to see where their fetlocks are, how their feet are shaped, are their knees at the same height, and all that information. Okay, the same goes true for the sides of the legs, the back, and um, different viewpoints, okay? So, if you're gonna take a video of the horse standing up, and depending on where your clients are, and if they're buying off a video, they also might wanna see the horse walk and trot. So we're gonna go over to where we jog. We don't have a fantastic area to film walking and trot jog. Come this way, um, because we don't have the most level ground here. So again, you try to get them to stand up square. And the first time you're gonna do a video um, of them walking, you wanna get it from right behind them. And then they're gonna walk straight down and straight back. So let's practice that to show you guys how we do that. Okay, so now what I'd want to see, because that shows you how straight the horse, if there's a wing or a pedal, is I want to see the horse from the side because I'd like to see its overstep. So maybe we can get halfway down our walking path. Anybody have any other questions? No, but... Kay Wilson Anderson's watching from Oxford, PA, and Robin is watching from Elk Mills, Maryland. Excellent. Hello, everybody. Good. So you can see this horse has a nice free walk.
Very good. And then usually we'll want to take a little bit of a video of their head with their ears up so that we can show how nice their heads are because usually we have very attractive looking heads. So, good boy, Junior. Okay, so now I'm going to put him away. portion of the day. Um, this is Cora. She works for us. Come over here, Reese, and we're going to go down to the range. So, this is her own personal horse who is not for sale, but we're going to give you some ideas of what we would want on a video if you were for sale. So, first things first, again, first impressions. We dragged the ring this morning, right? Because it's a lot nicer to show a drag ring and freshly cleaned ring it doesn't have any manure in it and it's nice and neat and tidy right um, we don't have as you can see much sun today it's a cloudy day here in Aiken and so that actually helps with videotaping makes photos a little bit more challenging um, because usually the light isn't great for the iPhones which is what I use um, the biggest mistake I see on photos and videos is where the light is. Um, if you're shooting against the light, meaning that you're looking into the sun or the sun is coming in front of you and you're not casting a shadow in front of you, which is ideally what you want, then the horse looks very dark and you can't see any details. So the biggest thing is you really want to videotape or take photos with the sun behind you. Okay? So let's go on down to the ring. Anybody else have any questions? No. Nope. But Callie says hi from Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. Excellent. I'm surprised we don't have more people from the Northeast watching since it's so cold and windy there. Yeah. Okay, so if I were to make a video, Cora has just started warming up and what I would have her do is, you can see the way our ring is divided. We sort of have this area that's 20 by 60, give or take, and that we don't have any jumps in. So we're gonna do a little bit of flat work. And what we like to do is repeat on both sides for video the same thing. So we'll do a, a trot down the long, a walk down the long side, each train. We'll do a trot circle, each train. We'll do a trot down the long side on each train. Same thing with the canner. So let's start with that. All right, Cora, come on over. So this is Cora's horse, Archer. He's going to go out this weekend at Sporting Days. Cora's been a lifesaver since Reese has been down and uh, was great at Pine Top for us. So what I'd like to see, Cora, is would you just walk down the long side and walk back? Okay? And we'll stand over here. It's lunchtime. Everybody's hungry. That's probably joy. So when I show the gates, I just, I don't want to have them necessarily in a lot of collection. I just, especially the walk, I like to see a nice free walk, see if the horse has an overstep, how they use their shoulder and how they move forward. This is a really nice, cute little horse that Cora has produced herself. Okay, Cora, let's turn around and let's walk back the other way. And again, what we would do is we'd probably edit it down to, I don't know how many steps this is, 50 steps, we'd probably edit it down to 40, you know, sort of cut off the ends.
All right, Cora, let's do the same thing in the trot. Just pick up your reins. And so at the trot, I'd like to see a working trot. And for me, you can watch videos that have a whole lot of flat work on them. Um, in a perfect world, what I'd like to see um, for horses that I'm looking for that have experience is I'd like to see a full dressage chest without any edits. And then just come right back the other way because I like to see start to finish and if the horse gets tense or anxious i want to see that if it has a bobble how does how is it dealt with and is it overreactive if it's a very kind what does it do but in the case of us making this video what i'm really looking for is now let's go ahead and let's make a 20 meter circle down there at the trot um i'm just trying to evaluate the horse and stay over on this side from on this side of the chevron so we have a clear view of the horse all the way around. So what I'm trying to see is, you know, what's the quality of the horse's gait? Is he easy to put together and, and make round? Um, is he sound at all three gates? Um, how does he hit the ground? Does he wing or does he paddle? And so for me, I just have to be able to say, okay, he trots well he's level he's even he doesn't have a wing or a paddle and then you know go to the next gate okay so let's go the other way certainly if you're looking for um, a horse that has competed um, quite a lot and done quite a lot we're going to go right back to that same circle um, you would want to see a competition video or um, a more extensive flat work video maybe including some shoulder in or leg yield or half pass or fly and change and lengthenings um, but this horse if we were to sell this horse this would be sort of a novice getting ready to move training to training horse and so you can always ask for more video and you can if you're interested um, but the way i view sales videos are that most people don't have a large attention span Let's go ahead and now canter that same circle. Um, and so I want to make it so that you have videos of all three gates. And let's come down the long side now. All three gates, the horse on a bend as well as the horse being straight. And then if I want to see something more, I'll ask for it. Very good, and then let's just turn around. We'll go down the long side and then we'll circle. And again, when you're making the video, what we try to do is keep everything the same. So for example, for the walk, we did straight line, straight line. So then for the trot, we do straight line, straight line, circle, circle. And then on the canter, we do the same thing. We do straight line, straight line, circle, circle. So it's very um, consistent and systematic. Anybody else have any questions? Not yet. I hope everybody's looking forward to the warmer weather. We've been um, blessed with some actual lovely weather here the last week. It's just gotten a little bit cold today. We're expecting some rain, um, but we've actually had some lovely weather and Cora and I ended up getting a little sunburned over the weekend, which is probably not something we should talk about for everybody else dealing with the cold and the wind and the mud. Very good, let's trot and pat him. Trot, walk and pat him. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the jumping phases. So when you're doing jump video, let's walk over here. What you want is you want a clean jump, right? For example, if I look at that black and white jump, it's got some nice filler, which I love um, because I like to see horses jump filler and um, look good over it, right? I, that's one of the tests I like to see is that the horse isn't just jumping poles or rails. The other thing is it's very neat and tidy. Again, going back to the whole sun thing, if we were if we were out here shooting and we had sun, the sun would be over there because that's where our sun comes from. So we would need to shoot this from the gray ox or this way. It's less than ideal because I have a gymnastic set down the line, the middle line, and so it's a little bit in the background, but that would be how you'd need to shoot it, okay? So, um, Again, when you're doing a video and you're thinking about 
how am I going to get the best pictures? Choose the fences that don't have a lot of stuff behind them, right? Because it's sometimes very hard to see the horse um, doing what it's supposed to do if you have a lot of other fences or, for example, we have some uh, gymnastics, um, some cavalettis that we have in the middle and some manure baskets. And so ideally you don't want that in the video or in the photos. All right, so moving over here, we've got this yellow and green vertical, right? This is, this is a thing not to do, okay? So you can see um, it just looks a little bit ratty, right? The, got two brown lines on one side, one brown line on the other. It's got an extra jump cup. So it's very easy to fix this, for example. We'll just put the vertical back with a diagonal rail underneath it. This accomplishes a couple of things. It allows the horse to have a fence with a little bit more substance, and it makes everything look neat and tidy. So why don't you just go ahead and catch this off the left a couple of times, all right? So when we're shooting, again, when we're shooting video, what I will do is I will get, or whoever doing the videotaping, it's usually not me, um, pick them up four or five strides in front of the fence. You can look that way, Reese. And then they'll jump the jump and go four or five strides afterwards. And then I can edit it all together. One more time. And so she's just warming up, you know, and I might take a picture of this or not, but for right now, we're just going to let her warm up. All right, now go to the roll top on the far end and then back to the black and white. Okay, so I'm just going to let her warm up a little bit. And what I would tell you is, in a perfect world, you want to keep the rhythm very much the same. It goes back to your training. You don't want to have the horses come very fast and galloping around because ultimately they get flat. Okay, so let's go back to this black and white fence. Very good, you can walk for a second with my pack. Because we don't have fun today, we're going to be able to shoot this a little bit more sort of from right here. And what that'll do is it'll keep most of the stuff out of the background. If you can come over this way, Reese, you can see, you know, right through there, there's not a whole lot of stuff. If you've got a jump where you have to turn afterwards, for example, if the sun were out and we were shooting this fence going towards the trees, they would have to make a turn either to the left or to the right based on not running into the fence. So if I wanted to, example, get a good shot of the horse and the rider, what I would try to do is I would shoot from, let's say, the gray fence, and I'd ask her to jump it and turn left so that the horse's eye and the rider's eye are looking and going to the left, all right? So let's just come jump this black and white one and go straight afterwards, okay? So again, when you're making a video, it's all the little things, right? So it's much nicer to have a video where the horse is coming off a short turn and they have longer afterwards because then you're not pulling them into the turn and the horse doesn't look off balance. Here, she's gonna come off the left. I don't know which way she'll go, but she's gonna make a nice square turn. Oh my, okay. So let's do that again and let's make a more square turn. So you can see when she did that, she sort of faded into the turn, right? And so she didn't have any distance there. So this time, what I want you to see is I want you to, just like we practiced before on the other horses, is to go deep into the corner. There you go, and that was better, okay? Then we're gonna come over here. And we have this nice gray wall. Now, you have to think about the type of horses you have and what you're trying to accomplish in your video in terms of some horses jump verticals better, some horses jump oxers better, some horses jump ascending oxers better. So you sort of have to know how to do that. And so, for example, on this fence, it's quite vertical and it's quite upright. We're going to 
actually shoot it coming towards us with the trailers behind us. So we have a ground line. You can see that it's just peeking out behind us. If you come this way, Reese, you can see it's just peeking out behind you. And so like for this horse, what I would like to do with him is I'd like to see him sort of have more of a fast fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this rail line out a little bit, make it what the hunter people would say a little bit fatter. Okay? You can see that I have some straightening rails also tucked in here. And so, so those don't show up in the picture. I'm going to do that. And some jump cups I have hidden away. So. It's a working farm, our farm, and so, you know, we're not going to pick up everything, but if I look at this fence now, from a video standpoint, I just see a nice fence and a nice ground line. I don't see the straightening rails, and I don't see um, the extra jump cups. So why don't we come around the turn, make a nice straight approach off the left, okay, and let's see what kind of jump we get. Trying to think again that you want to pick him up four or five strides before the jump, and then four or five strides after. We want to make sure both of them stay very straight. So here you're going to want to go a little wide and use your outside leg. Jump the other way. Right? You're going to want to jump with the ground line. him. Outside leg and rein. Okay, so let's try it off the right. Okay, so there she just sort of cut her turn and again just showed a little bit of her inexperience. So you have to say, okay, how am I going to get the best video? And so for her, the best video might be that she's coming off of the right because it's a much softer turn than coming off the left. Raise your hand taller in your body. There you go. And just wait for the jump to come to you. Very good. Okay, let's walk. So two different rides there, you know, for me, the first one I think is going to not be the one I choose because he sort of jumped off of one foot and he had a little bit tighter turn. So you can start picking and choosing. So let's work down through this line. So this fence, this line is um, set for my performance horses. And so we were jumping it back and forth and we were playing with different height. And so when you're going to do some videotaping and trying to get, um, again, good pictures to use, what you want to do is you want to make it so that you can make it so that you can jump it both ways. But in a perfect world, I think it would be better if you jump it one way because, again, going back to what I keep harping on, the sun. Now, we don't have the sun. So that's not an issue today, but more often than not, the sun's going to be shining. Okay. All right, so the other thing is, again, taking a hint from the sports show people, they're real good about having Phil on their jump up and around. So if you have some flower boxes, it's kind of nice to put them out there so that the horses jump up and around the jump. And then the other thing is, why even? Is one, you want to make sure the fences are even. So I have some extra jump cups here because, um, like I said, we've been jumping it back and forth and leaving the jump cups there for ease of purpose. So we don't really want them in our picture. 
or a video, so I'll pick them up. The other thing is, So because of that, I'm going to have to adjust the height. We were jumping some of the older horses today already. Anybody have any questions? Anybody signed in from anywhere in week? Nope. Come on, guys. Someone has to ask some questions on Jill's videos. I'm not the only one in the world that has horses. The other thing is to keep in mind for... videos are a minute or less because that's what they'll let you put on without having like if you do an Instagram video that's a minute or less then it will transfer to your other social media pages if you put an Instagram a video that is longer than a minute it will only stay on Instagram so from the best use scenario of social media, you want to have it so that you get very good process in terms of in a minute. And so to that end, you'll need to do some editing. Okay. So we've done this so that we've got, you know, three good jumps in a row. I'm not so concerned about the line, although if she jumps it well, that'll be fantastic. And we can put that on the video. What I'm really trying to get is that gray officer on the end. So to that extent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here with Reese, or if I were videotaping on my own, come down here to try to get um, a good picture over the gray. And I always like a two thirds picture, sort of sitting at about 60 degrees from the fence so that um, you can see the horse from the front you can see how they're using them their body you can see how they're using their shoulder okay so to that end i'm gonna have reese stand over to my left why don't we go ahead and let's get the three to the four okay and we'll see how this goes oh my finger please huh i have my finger in the way for a second there oh sorry everybody Very good. All right, let's go ahead and walk. So, she handled that pretty well. There's a little bit of wiggling. So, this time, what I'd like you to do is feel like you can take a bit of a breath, right? And let him come down a little bit easier down the line, right? And just be a little straighter. And starting her off with as I move the jump up, an ascending officer so that the horse will jump around the back rail a little bit. And then if all goes well, I'll change it into a square officer. The other thing you want to do, let me see if that's even. I think that side looks lower. So there you can also see, go ahead and walk, that the horse has a nice change. So, you know, I may not like the first two jumps because she's actually not getting a great turn into the first one. She's turning in the air and the horse is jumping off the shoulder a little bit, but I might get something from, you know, two steps after the daisies, jump the oxer, and then 
come through the turn and see the change. Now, if you're not experienced at taking screenshots of the horses and to say, oh, okay, let's see what it looks like, um, then I would stop and I would, you know, hit pause and I would look and see um, what the screenshot looks like. I have a real good feeling that that jump will be a really good jump um, if we were to advertise this horse, okay? So one last thing, um, if you're lucky enough to have multiple fillers or, you know, if you've got a horse and you're trying to make a sales video and all you have are rails and you don't, you're not lucky enough to have stone walls or flower boxes or black and white things, um, then what you can do is maybe rent a facility, lease a facility, and go and jump some horses, okay? So I'm gonna also show you, oh, we have a question? Yes, we do. Oh, we From Danielle Lee Dietrich. What is your preferred app for creating sales videos and editing? iMovie on the iPhone, do you recommend adding music? Ah, uh, the old music question. So I use iMovie all the time. Um, I wasn't an iPhone user originally, but now I am totally addicted to the Apple product. So iMovie, I use it um, all the time and that's what I use for my thing. Um, sound, sound is one of those things that everybody has their personal preference. I used to not ever dub in sound um, and now I almost do entirely. And the reason being, I think when you have music, it makes you focus more on the horse than it does on, you know, all the little sort of nuances that could happen like, oh, it took this jump or, oh, it snorted there or, oh, it did this. And so I think for me, um, I like having music on videos. If it bothers you, mute it. Um, it's not a big problem, but I use iMovie um, quite a lot. I find it to be a, a really useful app. So the last thing I would say is, for example, know, know your horses, know what shape they make. So this horse um, can get going, and when he gets going, he flattens in his arc. So I have a Liverpool here, right? And so Liverpools are, are nice fences to take photos over because you can sort of design them in whatever way you want to design them. And so, for example, this horse has been jumping now a few fences. And so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to roll the Liverpool out this way so that it's completely on this side of the fence while my dog step here it'll make a nice round arc whereas if it were in the middle he wouldn't make quite as good a shape I don't think so let's test my theory and see if it works so let's jump this Liverpool without the dog going this way so and it's also a great photo because there's not a lot if Reese comes this way um, you can see there's not a lot behind the fence to take pictures of <laughs> So let's pick Archer up as he comes off the wall. So he made a nice, great shape over that, and that was super. So the next step for me would be to take all of the videos. That's great. Thank you very much. I think that'll do us with him. So the next thing for us would be um, to sit down. I like when we're making videos to end with a, the nicest fence I have on the video and start the video with that and then go back to maybe depending on how long the video is going to be if I'm making an extensive video for a client that wants to see a lot of things um, that I would necessarily go uh, to the walk and the trot in hand um, then I do the flat work then I go to the jumping and sort of piece together some jumping um, clips if I'm trying to make a video for Instagram um, I'd probably go skip the stand up piece and the walk and trot in hand. And then I would go ahead and um, put the flat work on there and then select 
you know, maybe 10, 12 jumps and then finish it maybe with a stand up picture or a picture of the horse's head. And so that's sort of how we piece it together. We basically have two different videos we'll do. We'll do um, a very long extensive video, which has um, quite a bit of jumping and quite a bit of flat work and then hand work if they are asked for it um, to a minute, video, a minute or less. I don't tend to mix um, disciplines. We're event riders, a lot of people know. And so I don't tend to put cross country video with show jumping video. If someone wants to see a cross country video, I'll do a separate cross country video. So any other questions? Uh, nope. No other questions. All right. Well, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to message me um, in the notes below, or you can um, send me a text on my telephone, which is 610-952-5347. We hope everybody is staying well and is getting vaccinated. And we look forward to seeing you out at the competitions or here looking at sales horses. And please make sure to check out our videos on YouTube under either C Square Farm or Excel Star Sport Horses. And last but not least, look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at Training Tips Tuesday at noon.